um, because of the increased productivity, your op your OPEX costs go down, right? Because you're taking less fuel, less electricity, so on and so forth. Um, and uh, and then, of course, the energy efficiency of the system. So that unlocks so many mobile applications. For example, uh, let me use one, which is like container handlers. So if you want to take a container handler and you want to make it, uh, t take one that's gas powered and you'd like to convert one to electric, well, you're going to have to put a huge battery pack behind it. And that substantially increases the cost to the point that they're not affordable. So you wouldn't be able to make one of those systems and sell them. And not only that, if you have a bunch of these systems that are using inefficient hydraulic systems and you have these huge battery packs, well, there's only so many you can put in a location before you start to stress out the grid. And so if you're going to have these large electric industrial machines, not only do you need to have these huge battery packs, but then you need to have even bigger battery packs that you're trickle charging off the grid so that when you actually connect to those big batteries, you can charge quickly. <clears throat> so there's a lot of cost in switching to electric in all these machines. Um, but if you end up using a belt hydraulic actuator, then you get twice the runtime. So then you can either buy half the machines, or you could even choose to have the size of the battery. And every little bit of power that you remove on the edge, you end up needing to generate 3x less, right? Well, that's interesting. So, You're talking belt hydraulic as opposed to electric hydraulic. Yes. OK, that that's makes more sense. At first, I thought you just meant like, you know, belt hydraulic in general. I'm like, huh. I didn't realize you need that big of a battery, and you're like, no, 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 wait. <laughs> so, yeah, that makes yeah. sense, because you're skipping that efficiency loss when you convert electric to hydraulic and then going through those ORFI and all that stuff. 